Hello everybody and welcome back to Amity Bloom. I hope that you guys have had a wonderful Christmas and a beautiful December month. I am so excited to be sharing my December journal with you. This was one of two journals that I was gifted by the wonderful Stevie from Bits to Books. Both of them had these handmade crochet stars. They look like little snowflakes. For the cover that I decided to use this year, I took off the crocheted star very carefully because my mom and I, crochet means a lot to us. So we put that on our Christmas tree this year. And you can see she included antique lace on the cover that was very special to her mother. Just such a darling present to receive. As the journal was getting a lot chunkier, it was getting you know filled up with all of my ephemera and papers, I needed to come up with a closure to, you know, tie the little book closed. So I created something that I've never done before. I created a little wraparound closure. I did hand sewing with some metallic thread. I hope you can see that so it sparkles in the light. And then I added some buttons as well as an applique to bring texture. I think I'm going to be doing this kind of a closure for a couple of journals that I want to create for January. I'm hoping to have a little journal release. Finally, after so many years, I want to create some journals. And this idea, I think, is something that I'm going to keep using for a while as I love it. So the ribbon is actually, I cut it apart from this old little girl's dress that I had. I think it was like a communion dress and it was falling apart and so I used the ribbon as my closure. I love the colors. I tried to do some pleating <laughs> to the best of my ability. I still need to practice but she did the ruffles and so the base was already made for me. I just had to add the little closure because this book as you can see is a chunky one. <laughs> I love the side view. That's always my favorite for any journal as well as the top. I filled this up with laces, with ruffles, a lot of the fabrics that we put in our juniper fabric bundles and all of the fabric bundles that we shared this past month. I used the scraps and the leftovers in my personal journal. Those of you who have those kits, you can see how you can use them. And then this is the bottom. All of those gorgeous ruffles and beautiful creams, browns, and greens. So my color palette for this year is neutrals with some green tones. And when you open the journal up, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. I love the first page. Most of the pages are already finished and filled in. But since we're not finished with December yet, I still have to go through and print out some pictures and do some more journaling. But the decoration is pretty much finished. So in the first pocket, I just have some ephemera pieces and also this postcard. It's a vintage envelope and I added some texture as well as this little pocket printed on vellum and I just stamped December. So I stamped it underneath and then I added the vellum design on top. And this is from a kit that I'm working on right now that I can't wait to share with you. It doesn't have anything to do with December but it's just beautiful frames and I will share with you how you can use them. Some vintage velvet, and this also is a tuck spot right here. When you open the envelope up, it's the inside of the envelope, so this is the flap. I just folded it over, stitched it, and on the little flap I stamped Wish Upon a Star, and this is an image from a magazine that I loved of a candle. I just thought it was beautiful. So I'm going to be journaling about my wish for the new year. So this is going to be saved for New Year's Eve. I'm going to journal about my wish for the year and I'm going to tuck it right behind here. And then on the other side of the envelope, I added some fabric from our kit. Throughout the book, I've attached tinsel. It's not real vintage tinsel. It's just the kind that you can find in craft stores. And I've placed it in a way as like little clips around pages and then I've also stapled them. I just love kind of the rough distressed look of this. Then this is a star that I hole punched and I just included it here, you know, wish upon a star. I added the A for Amity Bloom. Just really pretty. I love this layout. I think it's so calming and so magical at the same time. On the second page, this is the first of December. And on the first, I took some pictures of my little Loki. This is a vintage postcard that I scanned and printed, but I just love the designs. 
see that tinsel wrapped around. It just stays in place because it has metal and then random stapling and more texture. So that's on that pocket. On this one, this is some vintage wallpaper that I love. And I added some fabric. This is a little flip that has a little secret pocket in the back. So I have some of my journaling in there. And then I just stamped December on piano paper, did some doodling, and I just wrote about, you know, my favorite month of the year, December. Used some of my beautiful Victorian lace at the bottom. And then on the back of the pocket, I added a fabric pocket, a nice little ruffle. And then I experimented with paint and like stamping. It wasn't the most perfect one, but I think it's pretty still. It looks kind of distressed added little stickers, and then this was a page from a vintage book that my dad bought me, and it's a poem about winter time. That was very special to me, so I wanted to keep it there for the 2nd of December, and you'll notice, as we go through the book, I don't always use my little daily um, tags. This is a digital in my kit that you can use not only for December, but also for any kind of journaling that you're doing. But then I got a little lazy and I haven't included them in the rest of the book, so I do have to do that. Some happy mail came in. I love ordering beautiful little cards and special trinkets and treasures from Rosanna from Sweet Haven Farm and Sanctuary. I will also leave her information below. She creates beautiful little sculptures out of cotton and she paints them and it's just the prettiest cutest little things I've seen because it's always animal related she has a sanctuary so all of the funds go to the sweet little animals on her farm so what I did is I took the envelope I stitched it to the piece of paper that makes this a little flip out I hope that makes sense and that way it just kind of flips out you can see on the back her beautiful stamping and her little her little farm shed with the animals and I just journaled about the happy mail and then this is some vintage wallpaper that I thought went well with the colors this is a card that I ordered from her she creates these little house cards which I love and I just decorated it with tinsel some stickers and then these are little trees that I cut out from a gift bag that I was gifted and then I just added some snow <laughs> with paint and this flips open this is the inside of the card also added a sticker and then I used one of my wallpaper digitals and I just journaled within the lines of the of the wallpaper she actually paints vintage wallpaper into her paintings so I thought that that was really special I love this house so much and then this flips open and this is something that I collaged in Photoshop and then I just did some doodling, you know, the little house. And then on my French receipts, I like to choose the blank spaces to do my journaling. So I just said the beauty of home. And I did some journaling there. I just th thought that this page was really sweet and very special. This is the bottom of a gift bag that I was gifted. And you can see trees and those little deer, which I thought was perfect for the journaling on the 4th. And behind the pocket, I just have some photos as well as, this one's pretty cool. Me and my boyfriend, we like to go to a bookstore. They did this decoration, like this little sketch on the windows of the bookstore. And it's just so beautiful. So I took a picture of that and turned it into a Polaroid using Photoshop. So that goes in there. Just added a little wooden snowflake. And then on the fourth, we were driving my mom and my two siblings on a semi-busy road and we saw a deer on the side of the road prancing. It looked very nervous, obviously, because it was scared. And we couldn't do anything because we were in the middle of driving and there were cars behind us. So it breaks my heart when I see, you know, the bad things that happen to the little deers or families of deer. Just it always hurts my heart so much when I see them on the side of the road and their life, you know, was finished too early. I just stamped sweet little deer because when we saw them, all I did was just pray for him, just hoping that he made it to wherever he needed to go safely. And so I did some journaling and then I, I scanned in this gorgeous postcard that I have because I didn't want to use the original. And I just made a little tag for the deer, layering some papers. This page was really sweet and I really do hope this little deer made it home safely. 
So I journaled about that. Here on this page, I made a flip out, but then I collaged with my scraps of fabric a tree, which I thought was so sweet. It feels so good too. And then at the bottom, I added some ruffles. And in order for this to not completely just open up every time I open the book, I pinned it to the fabric tab. So that's a little tip. If you have a flip out and it keeps opening up every time you move your journal, just pin it to a fabric tab and that way it stays in place. So then I just did my journaling on the side, just added some lace and some of my wallpaper digitals. Just really pretty, really simple. On this page, I still haven't journaled. This tag, I think I'm going to put a photo here, but I'm not sure. But I just love the colors of the tea stain paper and then I added some paint. And then I just used some of my washi. This is a stamp, believe it or not. I did not stitch that, that's a stamp. <laughs> this is a digital from my shop. On this page, I just added little papers, some ruffles, and then this beautiful French lace that's crocheted. And what I did here, I took this piece of ephemera and I stitched it to the wallpaper. I added a sticker and so that way I have a belly band that I can put my ephemera in. And then in here, this is a little paper leaf that I have. And then I just tuck that there as if it's a little leaf from a tree. <laughs> just something cute. I just love the effect it gives from the top of the journal. I think it's really sweet. Just seeing it like this makes me very happy. So I'll probably just do a full page of journaling and then add my ephemera in here. So this page is the 15th. This was my brother's birthday. And I just collaged a ton of my papers together, you know, little ruffles. I decorated it with this Christmas tag, some doilies, and then I just stapled the 15th. On this page, it's dedicated to a cookie recipe that I tried. And then um, I added some washi tape. This washi is so pretty. It's actually going to be in the newest collection that I've been working on. Hopefully we will have this ready for like February as um, still need to tweak some things. I'm just so excited to share with you the newest washi collection and also restocking some of your favorites. It just, it takes a lot of time and I like everything to be perfect. So I tend to, you know, take my time with that. This is some beautiful French fabric. This is what I actually scanned to create in one of the digitals. And all I did is I stitched it to the book page and I just flipped this up and this turned into a little pocket. So this is one of my postcards. I really like sheeps and you know little lamb imagery so my journaling is behind there. And this is a little mini page. I took an image from a magazine and I used it as a pocket then I stitched some twine and I did a little ruffle to like mimic the moss. <laughs> I just like to have fun like that in collage, you know, in a fun way to bring in the fabrics with the image. And then here on a scrap piece of paper, I just stamped my cup is full. I just loved the heart and to me it just represented your pot or your cup being completely full. And mine definitely is right now. This is a paper tag. Super pretty. I have yet to do journaling because it was from a gift. So that just goes in there. I thought the colors were lovely. And a scrap piece of wallpaper. All of those elements layered on. And you can see at the bottom, I used some tinsel to just wrap it around. So then on here, I just made a pocket. And in the pocket, I have a photo, a vintage photo that I loved. This is a really sweet photo. I just, I think it represents like winter time really well with like the trees. And then from this little vintage envelope, we went to the movies. And so I printed off some vintage tickets and my journaling is in there. So that just stays in that pocket. And on this page, let me remove so you can see that. It's one of my French receipts and all I did is I collaged elements together to try to create kind of like a snowy landscape <laughs> as best as I could using a doily and then a scrap piece of a hanky. This was from a greeting card and I cut the little deer out scraps of paper, some punch out stars. This is some tinsel, some star tinsel, and the same trees from that gift bag. And I also did some paint so that, you know, it kind of blended everything together. And this is a vintage postcard that I have for my collection. 
So I want to do some journaling on the back of there. There's a lot of symbolism of trees and little deers throughout the whole journal. Those are just two things that I love. The middle of the signature. This is what probably has my whole heart. My favorite page out of the whole journal because obviously it has to do with my family. So the way that I did this is I have a gift bag. There was a gift store that I went and this was part of their logo, the A. So I cut that out, you know, A for Amity Bloom. I did some texturing on the bag. Um, this is the other piece of the French receipt and then I just glued on some tags. This is some die cut paper from a vintage stationery like set that I had and I've always been wanting to use it and I didn't know how and this was the perfect journal to use it in. All I did is I added some paint to try to highlight the texture on the stationery paper and so the idea of representing my family through little birds is something that I've done for I think every art journal that I've made. This is my little mini Artist in Bloom art journal. Where is that page? Um, hold on. This one. My family of birds. So I always like this is my mom, my dad, and then me and my two siblings. So in every journal that I, you know, use or decorate, I always include my family of birds. Birds just hold a lot of symbolism for me and my family. So I always try to include, you know, our family representation through birds in every journal that is meaningful to me. So I knew I wanted to use a page to create my family again, represented through birds. And I thought, because this looks like an egg, what if I did the little nest at the bottom and then kind of made it look like we're safe within the little egg? <laughs> That was just my reasoning. I tried my best to like position them. So what I did, it was a little bit tricky, but what I did is I took some fabric, scrap pieces of fabric and some lace, and I just passed it through my sewing machine so that I had a pocket. I glued this at the bottom so it looked like the nest that my parents, you know, created for us. And when I did that, I didn't know how we were all gonna fit in the nest. So I thought it would be sweet to put like a little tech spot where my mom and my dad were at the top protecting our nest and then we're at the bottom. And these are just some little birds that I made with paint. As you can see, I use scrap papers. So this is some cardstock that I just painted on. And then this was packaging from our haberdashery scrap box that I just painted on. So trying to use my scraps. And my mom, my dad, and then me and my two siblings. And then all I did for the birds is I took a scrap piece of paper and I just drew, you know, to the best of my ability, a little bird. <laughs> it's not the fanciest thing, but to me it's a really sweet and special representation of my family. And then I just stamped my family there. I love this page so much because it's my family page. And I will continue to do this in every single journal of mine. <laughs> Just in different ways, of course. For this page, I just put a little tree and some stars. It's the back of that page, so I also did some painting around it. And then I added some beautiful stickers. I have these little diamond stickers. I have a ton of them, actually, that I need to use up. So I've been putting them in my journals. Some tinsel, and then I just journaled about my Christmas. And then in this pocket, I kept some vintage wrapping paper. I purchased this from an antique store and it has the most beautiful little blue birds. This is gorgeous and I think I have a big piece of it. I think I'm going to scan it and incorporate it into next year's Christmas digitals and Christmas journals. A postcard with a little piece of wallpaper and this beautiful postcard from my collection. I just scanned it in and printed it out and I have to do some journaling on here. But I just thought the colors, the green with the white looks really beautiful. So that is that page. This is the lace that I've been using so much of in my journals recently. In order for it to not flip out every single time, I just secured it with a little pin. And I secured it onto the ruffle. I'm not going to add anything to it. To me, this is just beautiful. So elegant and so beautiful. On this page, I created a little tuck spot by just scrapping little pieces of paper together. I had some leftover paint from painting the little bird, so I just kind of <laughs> used the extra on this paper and I'll just journal on there. I love the embossing. 
I have a little remnant of some gorgeous old paper. This is the one that I scanned for the Juniper Bloom kit. And then this is one of my postcards. I love this color palette, so beautiful. And then this is the wallpaper as well. So I just wanted to put like my little leftover paper pieces in this pocket and then do my journaling on the back. And then on this page, this page was probably the most fun to create in the whole book. And that's because I just played around. What I did is I took a gift bag that I was gifted that had these little glitter trees on them. Wouldn't it be the cutest thing to fuzzy cut them and kind of create my own little forest of trees? And I'm not the best at fuzzy cutting, so it's not perfect, but I did my best. And then I wanted to create a textile kind of landscape representing snow. So I took some yarn that I had, scrap pieces of fabric, little lace remnants, a ruffle, pieces of doily paper, and then I just placed them as if they're snowflakes. And then to add some sparkle, I added little stars and little diamond stickers, some snowflake stickers, and then up at the top here, I purchased some crocheted snowflakes. This is to me, you know, what Christmas looks like in my dreams. It took a lot of time but it was so worth it. It was like a little Christmas gift to myself to really play like I'm five years old in my journal. It's so much fun and it doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to make you feel happy inside when creating it. So then on the next page, I just put some scraps of wallpaper together. I just thought the colors went really well. So I got a little lazy. Once I did something crazy on this page, I was like, you know what? Let's just add some pretty wallpaper and a little sentiment and call it a day. <laughs> on this page, this is one of my postcard digitals. I just added a little bow. I want to include a picture in here. I have to print those out. A scrap piece of wallpaper and I'm thinking of just journaling on the bottom. On this one, journaling about vintage ornaments. Growing up, I always noticed vintage ornaments like in stores and thrift stores. And I never understood why they were so special. They looked very special, but I didn't know why. But now, as an adult, I have become obsessed with collecting vintage, like truly vintage ornaments. The colors, the patina, just the story behind them and the artistry. You don't find that in modern ornaments anymore. So I started collecting them. I'm hoping that in a couple of years I have enough to fully decorate my full tree with just vintage ornaments. I've just been buying them as I see them every time I come across them, which makes it like a little treasure hunt, which I love. On this page, I put what fills my heart. So sometimes for my December journaling, if I don't have anything to journal about because that day was just spent doing errands or just working, I create little lists or little prompts. So here, it all started because I had this scrap piece of wallpaper and I just stapled it on. And I had this floating around, so I decided to just tuck it into there. And I thought, oh, what would fill up my heart? You know, what fills up my heart during Christmas on a daily basis? The things that really make my heart super happy. And so it's my family, my little Loki bear, my dog, which is my baby. <laughs> my journals, of course, paper and fabric delicious food, and finding treasures like thrifting, estate sale hunting. A perfect day to me is all of this together. That is the perfect day for me. I think this is the reason why every day I find joy because I surround my everyday life with the things that really make my heart happy. I think that's the secret to being super happy or trying to be at least every day. Find simple things that fill your heart and typically the most simple things are the most meaningful at times. And then on this page, I had a scrap piece of some vellum that I printed. It's just a little pocket where I did my journaling, which kind of goes with this, how I feel now that the year is ending and I just kind of, you know, journaled about that. On this page, this is from my postcard digital. I just used the scrap and I stamped what makes a Merry Christmas. So I journaled about what makes a perfect Merry Christmas for me. This page is from a magazine. I loved the image. So cozy. 
And then this was a quote from the magazine as well. And I just decorated it with some doilies. It's just pretty. So you can see some pages you can journal and then on other pages you can just collage images that you like. There should not be pressure because after all journaling should be fun. It should not be stressful. I punched out little snowflakes and I thought it would be sweet to have a little snowflake envelope. And in my head, I thought about snowflake blessings. So you know how snowflakes fall down. It's kind of like a little blessing, you know, coming to you. So count your snowflake blessings. And I just journaled about that. And in the envelope, I'm going to put, you know, a couple of things that I feel blessed about this year. So I think that's a fun way to also do journaling is make it fun. You know, use symbolism like little snowflakes. <laughs> Don't take yourself too seriously in your book, especially during like Christmas time. For this page, this is just a scrap piece of wallpaper that I folded over. And this is a beautiful image that I had and then I just did some stamping. I attached both of it with a paper clip. So in here I kept some of the wrapping paper from the gifts. This was so pretty. I love this wrapping paper. So I just put all the wrapping paper in there. I always save the wrapping papers from every Christmas because I think it's going to be fun to look back on that in the future. On the back, I just decorated it with some ruffles and I did my journaling. Um, on this page, I made this little floating pocket out of an envelope that one of my brother's gifts were in. <laughs> it's a really funny story. So... I, of course, had to include this little envelope in here, which is a floating pocket. So my journaling is in there, as well as other little pieces from Christmas Eve. I attached it with some washi, and then I also made a little front pocket out of my scraps of wallpaper that I need to use up. I'm going to put all the pictures from Christmas Eve, and I'm going to kind of alter them in Photoshop to make them into Polaroids. So this is where all my photos are going to go. And then I did some more journaling about our Christmas Eve. We played a puzzle competition, <laughs> which was the most fun. Everybody had a puzzle. It was just a hundred pieces. So it wasn't anything too crazy. Everybody was having the best of time, just laughing and screaming like, oh no, like he's almost finished or she's almost finished. And everybody put in $10 and the winner, you know, would have a nice little sum of money to use on something special. And it was the funniest thing that my 13-year-old sister was the one who won. She was like, oh my goodness, I'm rich. I can't believe it. So let me know in the comments below. Do you, with your family, do you play games? Like board games, puzzles? Do you play any kind of game for Christmas or Christmas Eve? It's a new tradition that my brother wanted to start this year. And I loved it so much. We're definitely going to do it for New Year's Eve. Because it was just the most fun we had as a family. Just everybody coming together. I bought myself some handmade gifts. This was from a really beautiful town talented artist and I just love buying myself handmade gifts and supporting small businesses. I try to buy handmade gifts for my loved ones all the time and then my family they also know I love handmade gifts so I got gifted and gifted many handmade gifts this year. So this was a business card from a lovely fabric shop that I received a package from and I'm just going to be journaling about that and of course including pictures. On this page, these are my Christmas spreads, like my decorative spreads. Um, piano paper, and I collaged and made this gorgeous little pocket. Um, of course, one of my little Christmas trees. And I also made, that's super fragile, an ornament out of the back piece of some vintage wallpaper. And I just tucked that right in there. Super fragile. I just love the simplicity of this page. I think it's beautiful. This one I shared on my Instagram for my little Merry Christmas to all of you. I stamped out Merry Christmas. I printed out this wallpaper from the newest wallpaper pack in my shop. And then I took a white pen and I doodled around the flowers. Also added some doodles within the flowers. Just simple little things to make it more festive. And... Last but not least is the back page. It's just fabric that I stitched on. Hopefully you can see this is like some gold tinsel. I love it. I love how it captures the light. I added this pocket. This is a card that I got from Lisa. Hello sweetheart, I loved your card. And it went with my color palette for this year, which I loved. So 
So this goes in the back. And then this is the letter from Stevi that I keep back here. Received more Christmas cards over Christmas, so all of them will be placed in the back pocket. And then this is just some ribbon that I've added on the back. That is my December journal in all of its chunky glory. <laughs> so many beautiful pages that I know five, ten, even a year from now, I will go back and feel so much warmth in my heart because I took the time to make all of these pages so special for me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that flip through. I know it was a little bit long, but I wanted to share all the pages in detail. I hope that you have some sort of inspiration for maybe decorating your Christmas journal this year, your December journal, or even next year. Most of the ideas in here are super simple to do. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas. I will leave all of the links below to the shops that I mentioned, as well as the digital kits that I personally used. As a holiday surprise, I am offering 50% off in my shop to say thank you from me to you because your support this year, everything from your comments, your kindness, all of that really touches my heart and not just mine but my mother's and the community that we have on here is one that really fulfills my heart in so many ways. This will probably be my last video of the year. I will be back in the new year with lots of new videos and some sweet little ideas. One of the videos that I am so excited to share, the journal that I made, I don't wanna to share too much. It's not going to be a winter book, I changed my mind. Again, it's going to be a completely new beautiful theme that I will be of course sharing in the first days of the new year. And I know that you will have an amazing new year. Until next time, which will be very soon from now, I will see you in the new year. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love all of you, and I will see you very soon.